Hey, how's everyone doing today? Today we're going to be talking about <clears throat> one of the first um, objectives in the Red Hat Certified System Administrator course. So we're going to talk about accessing Linux systems um, using Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Which uh, the first thing we're going to cover is um, how to log in and switch users. So I do have a little bit of background on it, which is pretty cool. And you guys, I think you guys will enjoy this. So we're going to talk about the difference between SU and sudo. So the difference is, is that when you're using SU, you require the password of the target user. So the password of target user. And then sudo just requires the password of the current user. All right. So um, also the difference between su and sudo is that when you if you actually for both of them actually so if you do not specify the user both commands imply root so if I do sudo you're implying root if I do su dash that means you're implying root if you do s um, su, su dash l you're implying root so the only time you don't imply a root is if you put the username at the end. So let's say if I'm switching user to Mary. Right, if I do this, actually, let me add user, let me add Mary here. Let me change this. Actually, I cannot, I have to become root. So I'm gonna do user add Mary. And then put password in. Okay, now we have Mary. So if I do SU, actually I do, if I do sudo, um, let's say I want to use Mary, let's do help, just verify the structure, so b-i, so if I do sudo-i, and if I do Mary, and then if I do ls, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run the command as Mary, so actually, you know what, let me double check, make sure this is correct, I want to see if I is asking for the user, yep, that's, that was it. Totally forgot. So when we're doing this one, sudo dash i, then we do user Mary, and then I'm gonna run the command. Let's run ls. Actually, let's run. Let's run echo. Echo path. So this is gonna give me the uh, path for Mary. As you can see, it's home Mary home. Ben, so the reason why I'm showing you this is because when you use the dash I as sudo, remember, I'm using my current password. And since cloud user is part of the wheel group, I can do ID. It tells me here I'm part of the wheel group. So the wheel group pretty much is in the sudo file that gives me some sudo, um, sudo privileges. So um, if, I, if I did it um, with SU, I would need the password of Mary which I don't have Mary's password. So SU requires the password of Mary, sudo requires your password. The reason why you don't want to use SU is because this implies root and then sudo dash L implies root, right? So if I use this command and I use root's password, that's really bad because then I'm gonna be root, pretty, I'm gonna be root. Um, and to just kind of like show you that, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change the password of root. Let me change the root password real quick so I can show you what I mean. So let me do sudo password root, root, root. So if I do, if I do sudo, sudo, let's do sudo, let's try echo path. Okay. If I run this, I'm still the cloud user, right? Because I'm running it with privileges, right? But if I use su, dash Hold on, give me one second so let's do dash l let me just try to do su i think i have to run this as a command that's why so let's try c for a command there it is so as you see, when I run su, it asks for the password of root, and you saw that I changed the password. So over here, since I changed the password of um, the root, um, I'm using the root password. Now I know the root password. 
So um, when I do su-l-c, which gives you the command that you can type in, when I do echo path, as you can see, it asks for the root password and it does that. If I do sudo echo path, right, I'm still cloud user. So it's very important to know the distinction between su and um, sudo. Welcome to part two. I had some issue with my camera, so I'm just going to leave it like this for at the moment. I'm going to adjust the screen real quick. All right. So the first thing we're going to learn is about how to access our remote system using SSH and then how to generate your keys and then how to uh, transfer files to remote systems. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is do SSH cl cloud user. So they're both named cloud user, so don't get too confused about it. Um, I'm just server one and I'm going to log into server two. And this is the server two of cloud user. And if I do this, as you can see, I'm server two. And then this is server one, so I logged into server two. So the next thing we can do is we can run remote commands. So one remote command that I will run, let me show you that what it is, is the host name command. So I'm gonna run it on the remote host. As you can see, it says server two, right? So if I exit right now, if I type in my host name, I am server one. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna run host name on server two but I'm going to save it in a file called who.txt that will save locally to my machine. And if I do that, you can see there's who.txt. And if I cat it out, I'm server two. Or I'm not server two, but it says that the, the command says that I am server two because that's the command that was ran on the remote system and it was server two. And that file was saved in the who.txt file, which is server two. Now the next thing you want to learn is that what we're using is called pathword password based authentication so that password is the server's password so when we log into the server that user's password has to be used so instead of using the user's password on that machine I can use a key the keys password so I can do sh key gen if I press enter it will generate a key by default it goes to ID RSA if I press enter enter I skip the password I'm just doing it just for simplicity sake and the reason why you don't want to do that is because if someone compromises your username and password and is able to get into your system, they can log into all the other servers that you have that key in without a password. So they can just log in without a password. So if you do have the password, is a second layer of security if your if your account is compromised. All right. So if we do the same thing again now, as you can see. Actually, before that, that's my bad. So right now, I just generated the keys. All right. So if we check in our um, LS, if we LS um, LS dash all, we can see dot SSH. And if we go to dot SSH, that's where all this stuff is saved. We're going to do LS dot SSH. And if we see here, we have ID RSA, ID RSA dot pub. So we're going to do ID RSA. And we're going to cat it out. This is your this is your private key on the bottom. You can see private key because this is your private key. And if we do dot pub, this is your public key. And this is what we're sending over to the remote server. So that way they have your public key on um, on their system, because when you log in, since you don't have a password, um, it's going to have your key and it's going to recognize your key and ask for that password. If you have a password, if you don't, it will just let you into the system because that's the authentication method that you're using. So what we can do now, now we have to copy it over. We do um, SSH copy ID. And if we use that, now we have to specify the user and the IP address that we're sending it to. And then now it's asking for a password. And it's telling you that where, where it's going to, what's the source of the key and all that. Now that we do that, and if I do SSH, I just logged into the system without a password. Now if I exit, type in host name, I'm server one. I can do the same thing. I can do LS. I can I can do um, PWD, right? And it tells me cloud user, but I can also run if config, and then I can grip for INET. And it gives me the IP address. Actually, it gives me everything. So I guess it's not working. Okay. 
yeah, this is not a command. <laughs> this this is a command. This isn't a command. This is just for case insensitive. So I'll just grab net. I don't know why I put that dash in there. That's my bad. So <laughs> as you can see here, um, if I'm uh, doing the um, if config command, I can do the same thing on my local host to show you that it's that it's grabbing it from the actual remote system. I can do the same thing and then grab net. As you can see, my IP is here, and then the uh, and then this is my pub. Uh, my private IP actually that's my private IP right here so the private IP of this remote host is 79 and then my private IP is right here dot 169 all right and that was just showing you the um, the difference of the IPs and remember like I said if we cat SSH authorized keys these are the authorized keys that are on the server so if I go to if I go to the remote host again and I type in the commands here, I can do cat sh authorized keys. You should see the public key of this first user as you see here. Doors um, on here. So remember this is on the remote machine that has this authorized keys because the keys were inputted on here uh, as a form of um, authorization all right so one thing we can do we can show you how to transfer files so we're going to exit here do ls so we're going to transfer that who that text so we can do scp cloud user actually you know what i'm going to go to the second user and then grab that info that makes more sense so who am i i am I am server one. I can do who am I also. We'll tell you I'm a cloud user because that's the username. Host name is the actual host name. So if I do ls, we don't have anything here. So we're gonna grab that who that text file from user at. We're gonna do the IP address, the IP address, the public IP address, and then this colon is a delimiter, so that's very important. So we're gonna grab it from his home folder, and what we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab who dot text. And then we're going to put it here. So the period means that I want you to grab this file from this server, from this location, and I want to, I want you to save it right here where I'm at at the moment. If I do that, put the password in, and just grab that who.txt. And if I do ls on server two, you can see that original file that we had for server two is there and if I exit if I do ls you can see it's on server one so we basically grab that file and we put it on server two so just to go over this command um, it's scp then you put the remote users information that you want to grab a file from and then you delimit it this is the delimiter so from here is you put in the location of where it's located on this machine and then here you signify where you want to save it so I want it to be saved in the same working directory which was home cloud user where I was currently at that's where I wanted to save it um, so when I did it here I was in my home folder this tilde just signifies home folder and that's where I saved it wraps it up um, I hope you guys like this video um, you guys have a great day and I'm gonna be working on more on this Red Hat Certified System Administrator course or Red Hat Certified System Administrator yep I did say that correct um, and that's it. Well, you guys have a great day and thank you for watching.